really grateful to be with you here this morning and to share my face with you. And to the core of that faith belongs my conviction that you and that I and that we are the beloved daughters and sons of God. I might as well say that from the very beginning. You, we are the beloved sons and daughters of God. And one of the enormous spiritual tasks we have is to claim that and to live a life based on that knowledge. And that's not very easy. In fact, most of us fail constantly to claim the truth of who we are. I took this, uh, this flip chart here to give you a little idea about how we often live our lives. If I draw a little line here, and I say, that's my life. My little chronology. You could also say, my little clock time. Well, I was born in 1932. And I wonder what I should put here. Maybe, uh, well, 2010. It's not so bad. But that's really all I have. And now you may say, well, listen, I came a little later, don't uh, So you came here. And you may say, oh, I have a few more years here. But it doesn't make very, very much difference. It's still a small little life that you have. A tiny little life that goes by very, very fast. Like that. And the question for you and for me is, who are we? Because that's the question that keeps us going. Because all during our lives, we try to answer that question, who am I? And the first answer we live with is, I am what I do. And that's very real, you know, when I do good things, and when I have a little success in life, I feel good about myself, but when I fail, then they start getting a little low or depressed. And when I'm getting older, I might say I cannot do much, but look at the trophies. Look, I did a lot of good things in my life. Or look at my books, or look at my music I wrote, or look at my children I educated, or look, 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 I did something good. Or we might say, I am what other people say about me. What others say. You know, that's very, very powerful what people say about you. In fact, that sometimes is most important. If people speak well about you, you can walk around quite freely. But when somebody starts talking behind your back, or when somebody starts saying negative things about you, you suddenly might feel very, very sad. You know, and I remember speaking to thousands of people, and people say, that was wonderful what you said. But there was one man who said, up, hey, he says, I thought it was a lot of nonsense. And that's the only man I remembered. It seems as if, when somebody talks against me or against you, that can cut deep into your heart. And when somebody in the morning said something about you that's really hurtful, somebody calls you stupid or so, 
that can stay with you the whole, whole day and ruin your mood. And you might also say, I am what I have. I am what I have. I, I'm a Dutch person. I have kind parents. I have a good education. I have a good health. I have a lot of things. But as soon as I'm losing any of it, if a family member dies or if my health goes, or if, if I lose the property I might have, then I can slip into inner darkness. And what I want you to hear for a moment, that quite often a lot of your and my energy goes into, I am what I do, I am what people say about me, I am what I have. And you know, when that's the case, our life quickly becomes like this. Because when people speak well about me, and when I have a lot of things, and when I do good things, I'm quite up. I'm excited. But when I start losing, when suddenly I find out that I cannot do anything anymore, when suddenly I find out that people talk against me, when finally I discover that I lose my friends, I might slip into depression and be very low. And before you realize it, you and I are on a zigzag. Because when, it, when we are up, when, when these things are all right, but we are down, when we start losing out. And most of our work, mental work then, is to just stay above the line. And we call that surviving. We want to survive, survive. We want to hold on to our good name, hold on to some good product, hold on to our, to our property. But we know somewhere that on the end there is a word that says you're going to die after all. And you know when you live this kind of life with all these ups and downs, the end is death. And when you are dead, you're dead. Nobody talks to, about you anymore. You don't have anything anymore. You can't do anything anymore. You lose it all. And that little, little life of you and of mine ends up into nothing. And what I want to say to you today is that this whole thing is wrong. That that is not who you are, and that is not who I am. That's what the demon said to Jesus when he went to the desert. He says, turn these stones into bread, and show you can do something. 